Hey everyone, welcome back to Kudachari. I have never thought maths on Kudachari before. Mm, summations and logarithms are the basics you will require to calculate time complexity. After watching this video, you will not become a master in logs and summations. So if you are already good in logs and summation, please skip this video. But if you are someone who don't know logs, then this video is for you. In our last video, we have seen that the best performing algorithms have logarithmic complexity. And the purpose behind creating this video is that you guys should be able to imagine logarithmic complexity. You can imagine that 1 plus 1 equals 2. Similarly, I want you guys to understand the meaning of log n to the base 2. So without wasting your time, let's get started. Logarithm basically asks us a simple question. How many times do I need to multiply the base to itself to get the target value? Or in much simpler way we can say that how many of one number do we multiply to get another number? Let's understand this by an example. How many twos do we multiply to get 8? It's simple. We have to multiply 2 thrice to get 8. Now how to write this in terms of logarithms? It's simple. It's log 8 to the base 2 equals 3. It's also equivalent to 2 to the power 3 equals 8. According to our definition, base is actually the number we will be multiplying to itself to get the target value. Here, in this case, we multiply 2 thrice to get our target value that is 8. Let's take one more example. What is log base 5 of 625? Now we know that in simple words it means how many times do I need to multiply 5 to get 625 as an answer. So the answer is 4. We need to multiply 5 4 times to get 625. So we can say that log base 5 of 625 is 4. So it's not just multiplication if we reverse it I mean to say how many times do we divide the target value by base also gives us the answer because division is inverse of multiplication and this is a very important property in our example log 8 to the base 2 if we divide 8 by 2 then we have to perform division operation 3 times so log 8 to the base 2 is 3 Similarly, if we divide 625 by 4, we had to perform division operation 4 times because division is inverse of multiplication. Now you know the basics of logarithms. Let's see how do we apply them in computer science. I hope you all know the binary search algorithm. Let's find worst case time complexity of binary search. First step is we find the middle term. Then we divide the list in half. The position of either the start or end is changed. Again, we keep on dividing the list until we find the desired element. So initially we had 8 elements, then we had 4, then 2 and finally we got our answer. So we are just dividing by 2. So the worst case time complexity of binary search algorithm is log n to the base 2 where n will be the size of array or input. There is one more interesting thing or I should say important thing about default log value you should know. In maths when we say log n then it means that its base value is 10 but in computer science when we say log n then it means its base value is 2. So this is a really very important point you should remember. Now I hope that you guys have understood the basic of logarithms. In the description I will give links to awesome resources where you will fully understand this concept. Nothing to worry. Let's start with summations. This is a sigma symbol and I hope you have seen this symbol a bunch of times. So a series 
can be represent in a compact form called summation or sigma notation for example the series 4 plus 18 plus 12 up to 24 can be written as summation of 4n as n goes from 1 to 6 this means that the series starts at n equals 1 and we stop at n equals 6 and 4n is the expression for each term in the sum so the series will look like this the n in the series will be replaced by 1 to 6 let's take one more example what is the sum of 2n minus 1 from n equals 1 to 3 can you find the answer it's simple now we'll just replace n equals 1 to n equals 3 in 2n minus 1 and the answer is 9. Let's take some programming example. Now we have to calculate time complexity of this for loop. So this loop goes from 0 to n. So in terms of summation our equation look like this. Always remember summation of 1 is the total index. So in this case our answer is n. You don't even have to do summation of this example. If you just observe the for loop you will know that since the loop goes from 1 to n so its time complexity is going to be n. Now here is another example for you. Now we have nested loops here. Can you calculate the time complexity? The outer loop goes from i equals 0 till n and inner loop goes from j equals 0 to i. So we know that summation of 1 is total index. So our equation reduced to sum of i from i equals 0 to n. There is one formula for arithmetic series which is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So we are applying that formula. If I further solve this equation, I'll get n square plus n divided by 2. So the time complexity of this loop is n square. Don't worry guys, if you still not understood, it's okay. In next video, I'll be taking bunch of examples that will clear all your doubts. But I'll recommend you to memorize these important formulas because we'll need them while solving examples. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please do comment, I really like to read your comments and please support Code Archery by liking this video.